Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to solve simultaneous equations using algebraically method which is substitution. So algebraically we have two methods to solve it, substitutions and eliminations. In this video we just focus on substitutions only. Let's do some example to figure out more about the method. So this one is the example from the first video, the last video that Mr. Bauer already taught you how to find the solution of these two lines using graphs and the answer is 0, 4. Now today we're going to solve these two equations exactly the same but we do it algebraically using substitution methods to see if we have the same answer or not. With substitution methods, um, we have two equations. I'm going to name the first one is 1, the second one is 2. So you have to look at these two equations, whether you can make one of the variable is the subject to the equation or not. For example, with equation 1, when I take away x equals 4, then I can make x equals y take away 4, or y equals 4 plus x. When doing this, I, it means that I rearrange the formula and I make x the subject of this equation or y the subject of this equation. When you have x equals something or y equals something, then you can substitute back this value into the second equation. Um, and the second equation now is has only one, will have only one variable. And from there, you can solve to find the value of that variable. Now, let's check it out. So, I'm going to choose from 1, from equation 1, y equal, uh, y take away x equal 4, I'm going to make y the subject of the equation um, by moving x into this side. So I will have y equal x plus 4. All right. So equation 1 here give me y equal x plus 4. Then I'm going to substitute back this one into this equation. Now what I'll do, I'm going to subs y equal x plus 4, this one, into equation 2. When I sub this one into equation 2, it means I replace y in the equation 2 by x plus 4. All right, so I will have, I rewrite the equation 2, which is 3x plus 2y equal 8. And then I write out 3x plus 2. So instead of writing y, I'm going to write x plus 4. 2 brackets x plus 4. Why do I have the bracket here? Because 2 times the whole y, and the whole y now is x plus 4. If you write 2 x times x plus 4, it means 2 x plus 4. You didn't make 2 times 2 with this one, which is wrong. And then I keep the, the other side, this side, same, equal 8. And then I expand the brackets, so I just write 3 x plus 2 x plus 8 equals 8. And then I solve this equation to, this is going to be 5x plus a. I'm going to move a from this side equation to the, this one. It turns to a take away 8 and it's equal 0. And then easily we know that x equals 0. So now I have x equals 0. I'm going to use this x equals 0. And I substitute back this value into either equation 1 or equation, equation 1 or equation 2. It will give me the answer of y equals something, and regardless that what equation you're going to substitute in, it will give you the same answer. <coughs> so I'm going to sub, I don't have space, so I'm going to write here. I'm going to sub x equals 0 into equation 1. Let's make it equation 1. Then I have equation 1 is y take away x equal 4. And then y, I write that y, x now is 0 equal 4, so it means that y equal 4. So the point of intersection or the solution of these two equations is 0, 4. <coughs> Sorry. Or x equals 0 and y equal 4. Now move on, next example. This example is also the example that I got from, I get from the previous email from Bitter Power. And um, by solving graphically these two, uh, these two lines, the green, the green one here and the blue one is here, you guys got the solutions 
or the point of intersection is negative 2, negative 4. So it means x equal negative 2 and y equal negative 4. Today we're going to solve it um, by using substitution method to see if, it's, if we have the same answer or not. All right, so again, I rewrite the two equations here, and then I'm going to name it equation 1, equation 2. And from equation 1 and equation 2, you just look at them and see if you can make the subject, um, y the subject of the equation, or x the subject of the equation. From this equation 1, you can make y equals uh, by bring negative 3x to the other side, so y going to turn to 3x plus 2, and then you can substitute y into this equation to solve for x. Or you can get, from the equation 2, you can get x equal y plus 2, and then you substitute this one back into this equation to solve for y. Now I'm going to do this way. So I'm going to, from equation 1, I have y equal 3x plus 2, and then I'm going to substitute y equal 3x plus 2 into equation 2. And I rewrite the equation 2 is y take away x equal 2. And now whatever is y, I'm going to substitute, I'm going to replace by 3x plus 2. So it's rather x and take away, always open the bracket for me, 3x plus 2 equal 2. And then I Get rid of the bracket by expanding the number two, no, the negative into here. So it's turned to x, take away 3x plus 2 equal 2. And from here, we have negative 2x equals 0. So it means x equals 0. There's something wrong here. So y is 3x plus 2. Oh, take away 2, I'm sorry. So I got this wrong here when I do this. It's going to be take away 2, and then when I move negative 2 in this side, it's going to turn to 4. Sorry for that. So it's equal 4. So it's mean x equal negative 2. And then when I have x equal negative 2, I'm going to substitute back into this equation. So it is to find x, I'm going to subs x equal negative 2 into 2 or into 1, they all the same and they give you the same answer. So it is x now I'm going to replace with, so the equation 2 is x take away y equal 2 and x in negative 2. So what I'll do, I'm going to write down negative 2 take away y equal 2. And then from here, easily you know that y equal negative 4. All right. So my answer is x equal negative 2 and y equal negative 4, which is exactly the same here. The next one is the simple one, this one. So again, from here, you can get x equal 6, take away y. Yeah, you rearrange the equation from equation 1. x will equal 6, take away y, because y I move from this side. So from neg positive, will turn to negative. And then I substitute back this one into this one. So I'm going to have 2. And instead of writing x, I'm going to open the bracket and replace this one into this one. So it's going to be 2, 6, take away y, plus 4y, equal 10. And then I open the brackets by times 2 with 6, times 2 with negative y. It turns to 12, take away 2y, plus 4y, equal 10. And then from here, easily you will know that y equals so it's going to be 2y equals negative 12. So it means y equals negative 6. When you have y equals negative 6, you're going to use this one, go back to this one, or you can substitute back to this one to find the equation. So I'm going to subs y equals negative 6 into equation 1. Because I this one have 2, 4, 10, so it's a big number. So I'd rather to choose this one with a small number, easy to work with to, find a, to give my uh, final answer. So it's going to be x, x plus y is negative 6 equals 6. So it means move 6 to the other side, x equals 12. So your fi final answer for these simultaneous equations are y equals negative 6 and x equals 12. Next one. These examples um, is to give you a typical example of two linear equations that doesn't have any solutions because they are parallel. So in the first 
video and the second video, you know that the equation, the linear equation that have the same gradient, which is two in this case, when they have the same gradients, the two lines are going to be parallel in the Cartesian plane, right? When they parallel, they never meet each other. It means they have no equation, no point of intersection. So it means that these equation, the simultaneous equation, have no solutions. So this one, you know that there's no solution by graph, by plotting these two lines in the Cartesian plane. Um, how about solving it algebraically using substitution methods? Now, so the first equation is y equal to x take away 1. The second one is y equal to x plus 1. I already have y equals something, so I just substitute this value into this one. All right. So in the, this one is the first equation, this one is the second equation. So in the first equation, I have y equal to x take away 1. I'm going to substitute that one, y equal to x take away 1, into equation 2. And then I'm going to replace y here by this one. And I have 2x take away 1 equal to x plus 1. Right. And then you move 2x into this side. So 2x. From positive 2x will turn to negative 2x, and this one from negative 1 will turn to positive 1. So you're going to have 2x take away 2x equal 1 plus 1, or 0x equal 2. This one absolutely wrong. Why? Because there is no number of x that time with 0 equal 2. Because any number time with 0 always equals 0. So this one has no solution. And that done for.